Welcome to Understanding the Alps, a short series of movies about thermal development, staying safe under clouds, and generally improving technique. Part one, what is a thermal? Thermals are created when the sun heats the ground, which in turn heats the air that is in contact with the hot spot. As the air molecules are heated, they expand and become excited. This parcel of air becomes buoyant and depending on the surrounding air mass will leave the ground when the release temperature is reached. The higher the ambient temperature, the more heating is needed. When this huge parcel of air begins to leave the ground, it becomes a physical object and should be thought of as such, and not just as something wafting through the atmosphere, but as powerful columns of rising air that can block the wind, cause rotor and sink behind them and even be soarable on the windward side. As it rises, it will pull cooler air from its surroundings. As this warm air reaches a temperature that is the same as the ambient temperature around it, it stops rising and starts to descend as cooler air. This is the associated sink found around thermals. To understand more about the forces involved, it's important to grasp how much a thermal weighs. Okay, so on a good day in spring, thermals can easily reach 3,500 to 4,000 metres. This column of air has released some 2,000 metres below the cloud base. This thermal could easily have a radius of uh, around 250 metres. By some quick calculations, assuming that we use the standard value of air as 1.2 grams per litre, we arrive at the colossal amount of just over 350,000 tonnes of air moving at around 5 to 7 metres a second. That's a huge amount of momentum. Even a small winter thermal that's only 100 metres in radius and 500 metres high equals to around 18,000 tonnes. Wind will only have a small effect on the momentum of this rising column, only slowly pushing the weaker lift as a stronger lift pushes against the wind, but this will be explained more later. So now we understand a little more about the structure of air and what's happening and the forces associated with it, it will be easier to explain the following subjects on thermal development and especially in the mountains. 